To record straight into Finale in real time, we need to activate the Hyperscribe tool. I press Command T to bring the toolbox up and select the Hyperscribe tool. Before we start recording, we want to make sure all the Hyperscribe tool settings are correct. Let's first go to the Hyperscribe tool menu and select playback and or click from the beat source entry. It might be smart to slow down the tempo before you start recording. The slower you record, the more accurate you can play, obviously. In this case, I'm going to set it to 80. Make sure the beat equals quarter notes and the count of is one measure. The next place I want to visit is the Hyperscribe options. There, I need to make sure my quantize settings are correct. Although, I can always retranscribe the music with different quantization settings later. In this case, I'd like to record 16th notes as well as 8th note triplets. That's why I select mixed rhythms. The smallest note value is a 16th note. Click on more settings. Let's make sure the sensitivity level is set to 16th notes as well. Okay. Click out of here. And I'm now ready to record. As soon as I click a measure, Finale will count off one bar. So let's do this. Stop the recording, click anywhere on the screen. So let's see what happened. Well, I only played quarter notes in the first bar, and that looks good. Then I played eighth notes in the second bar, that looks good. But here, I thought I played only triplets. But as you can see, Finale thinks differently here. Now, I can't just select a portion of the measure and use a different quantization setting and retranscribe that. Finale allows me to only transcribe an entire bar or more than a bar. So let's see. I do want them all to be triplets. So let's go into our quantization settings and tell Finale space notes evenly in beat. There's no way to tell Finale that we only want to see triplets or tuplets. Very unfortunate. But by checking space notes evenly, we can get a similar result. Press OK. I got to select the selection tool. In 2014, that would be Shift Command A. In earlier versions, it was Escape. I select this measure, go up to MIDI audio, and select retranscribe. And fortunately, there's no shortcut for that. So you have to pick it from the menu. And voila, now I have all eighth note triplets. The next bar is fine, but here what I really wanted is dotted eighth notes followed by a sixteenth note. So this rhythm got completely thrown off. Now fixing this by changing the quantize settings might work or might not work, I recommend in these instances to re-record it at a slower tempo. I'm going to go up there to the Tools menu and pick my Hyperscribe. Go to the Hyperscribe menu and go to Beat Source, Playback. I'm going to bring this down to tempo 60. Okay, so obviously the quantization settings were not so good 
So I'm gonna go with my selection tool, select this bar, and check my quantization settings. And here's the problem, space notes evenly in beat. We gotta go with no tuplets instead. So if we retranscribe that, we get everything we want, but it didn't record the first note. For whatever reason, don't ask me why. Let's record this measure one more time. So, looks like I got it this time. <laughs>